Go. Hello, this is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery in Washington, D.C. Metro. Today's topic is lasers, and you certainly are aware that we've done many different video segments on lasers, and of course the application and technology of lasers in oral health and aesthetics um, is quite varied. The reason why the Institute actually has multiple different types of wavelengths is because each wavelength in the application has a certain amount of uniqueness to the actual protocol, the clinical treatment. And so by virtue of diagnosing, of course, um, etiologically, that means that we look at the cause and the variables that contribute to that particular condition. And that is how I customize the treatment planning based on those particular variations. Certainly we know that technology has certain pluses and benefits in the customization of the sequence of the treatment. So therefore we use lasers, for instance, to treat aptus ulcers and hepatic lesions, cold sores, for instance, both on the lips as well as in the mouth. We also use them, for instance, for biopsy. If you have a little bit of a lesion, perhaps a HPV lesion that just started and, and um, is in the oral cavity or perhaps somewhere else on the lip or around the, the lip area, it's easier to excise it, of course, when you have a laser available to control the, the bleeding. The healing potential, of course, is much increased and, of course, there's less need for anesthesia. Um, other laser applications include, for instance, the um, sun damage on the lips. We can certainly use laser technology versus scalpel or surgical removal of tissue, which is, of course, much more invasive. And allowing us for the laser treatment not only to, of course, address the abnormal tissue, remove that, but also improve the healing of that particular site without a potential loss of lip volume. And we know that it's very important for us to retain the tissues in the most natural phase as well as not just presentation, but also composition and function. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact us with your questions on laser applications in dentistry in oral health and of course for smile aesthetics at www.dclaserdentist.com.